And if there's one thing I love, it's the runs. We still want going on everybody it's your boy Carvin and I'm back back again third episode in a row where I am driving a BMW so this time I found one that is actually a manual transmission and the brakes are just as bad as the other one I drove <laughs> the second car the M3 we started with the M4 on the first episode with the BMWs then we went to the M3 and now we're on the M2 competition at least I think it's the competition. I seem to always forget what the cars are as I'm loading into the servers. It's got a little bit more brat to it. Got a little bit of some pop, backfire, a little bit of flames. We're about to see how this car stacks up against the others, as this car is a manual transmission, something you rarely get to have with these BMWs. Figured this car has to be next up on the list as I just did two paddle shift cars Oh my, it has some brakes, I tell you. Beautiful interior. For the most part, it looks like completely factory, stock. Not a lot of mods besides the no hezzy sticker. It does have the usable, usable touchscreen, like most of the vehicles do in these servers. We are doing a top to bottom run from the top of Shotoko at the pit stops all the way down to the bridges on the southern end of the map. And within these checkpoints, I am basically testing how well these cars handle. So far, this one seems to be doing all right. Absolutely shooting down the track. Brake test. It sounded like a bus was coming to a stop. So far, no big crashes. Sheesh! This thing does feel pretty good. I haven't needed the engine brake really at all. Whoo! So you brakes and BMWs. They don't seem to go together. The M4 must have had some aftermarket Brembos or something, some six piston. Sometimes those trucks are a lot bigger than they look. Like their collision box, just a little bit bigger. definitely a car made for cutting traffic not as many bells and whistles in the interior but it feels like this car is more raw especially with the manual transmission you know it's like you get to do a little bit more work a little bit more driving on the enjoyment factor Another thing I've been trying to learn, and it has been proven to be very difficult, is how to drift in a Seto Corsa. Now I'm getting like, okay, like I can pull off a decent, you know, slide and transition every once in a while, but it's not consistent. And I'd like to be consistent enough to be able to throw some cars around on these traffic servers and drift in and out of traffic. Every time I see somebody do it on YouTube, it inspires me. I end up pulling out the game, loading up, usually a drift server, and trying to teach myself how to drift. Little by little, I feel like I'm getting there. But it is 
already taking a lot longer than I thought it would. You know, it's the whole, whole reason I went out and got a handbrake. Excuse me, my toll. You turn on the brights here. Honestly, I can tell a car is pretty decent when I can commentate through an entire video and really not have any major mistakes or problems. This car feels a lot more fun. So far, I have to say out of the one to 10 scale, I'd give this car an 8.3. It's better than the M3. Not as good as the M4. But it still handles pretty well. Like I said, the brakes are basically trash. It does have an anti-lock braking system, but it feels like it doesn't work very well. Or it's not working enough. All right, that's enough shoulder riding. Can't get enough testing in a shoulder ride. This might be one of those cars that if I were to turn off the traction control and the analog braking system, this car might be a drift car for traffic. All right. All right, Mother Nature. The sun's a little bit too bright. Should have wore some sunglasses. The fact that I can still see, though. Blinded by the light. We've already made it down to the bridges from the pit stop. And I'd say, yeah, the score of an 8.3 is a pretty good, it's a pretty good test score for this car. Another car that I can probably put on my list of cars, if they are available, for some high score, no hezzy leaderboard runs. And if there's one thing I love, it's the runs. I'm already whipping this car back and forth. It's keeping the traction. Okay, not there. It didn't. I, I, I gave, I gave it, I gave it a little more <laughs> than I was before, and uh, I wasn't ready for it. Although I said this car seems to be pretty factory, pretty stock, it does have a roll cage. We'll end the run on this bridge with the beautiful view of both the scenery and the M2. You get to hear a little bit of some ASMR with this M2. And it's brat pop, brat pop. Baby got brat. <laughs> Have you guys heard that T Pain song yet? Featuring Hurt from Hoonigan? But that's just me, and I can say that that's that Cause I got four sevens and at least one of them babies got rap Yeah, and when I pass them in the panic They be asking why I do them like that Holy shit, what a good song Well, considering that is the end of SRP yet again, from top to bottom, from pits to bridges, this car is an 8.3. That is the score I am sticking with. Please leave that like, leave that subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know what I did wrong. You guys always do. And until next time, puppies.